Welcome to another episode of Entrepreneurs in Fuego. We're documenting the journey of amazing entrepreneurs. Such, by the way, the word amazing is overused on Facebook. <laughs> Have you noticed that? <laughs> Next time I see the word, oh, amazing this and uh, the amazing pictures and photos and everything else. Mm -hmm. If there was a drinking <laughs> game and if I drank, I want to take a shot every time that I see the word amazing. That's funny. On Facebook. You'd be wasted. It's like my pet, <laughs> exactly, it's my pet peeve. That's funny. We have with us Stephanie Heller. How you doing? Good, how are and, you? By the way, where's where's the food, man? I know. Where's the food, I man? Was driving here She's and I was a like, chef. We oh, ask you to bring no. props. Where she bring yeah, food? Where's I have to the come back. food? I'm gonna come back. <laughs> but you're also a coach. Yes, I am. Tell us about that. I am a business coach yes. for personal chefs who want to start and grow their business. Let's go back. Okay. You said a lot. It's a, a little lot weird. It's, yeah. It's just you know I, I okay. gotta process all these things. You're a business coach for personal chefs that want to start their own business. Right. I cannot think of a better model mm -hmm. <laughs> than to be a business coach for personal chefs or for artists, for that matter. Right, creatives. Because, be, because they're creatives mm -hmm. and they may be terrific at what they do, Right. but zero when it comes to running a business. Exactly. So that's what you do. That's where I come in. So cooking's the easy part. It's actually such, it's, a, it's less than 50% of what's going on. You have to learn how to set up your business, how to get clients, how to make money so you could sustain it. So that's where I come in. How to get clients? How do you get clients? How do I get clients? Well, I have my own personal chef business yes. for eight years. So yes. I've been doing it a long time in Scottsdale and it starts with providing an amazing service and knowing exactly how you can help other people. And you're not just helping them with food, you're solving their problem of, I don't have time. I don't know how to eat healthy. I don't even know what to prepare, go to the grocery store and get. So we solve that problem and then it kind of explodes. And I have a, a gorgeous website that attracts 98% of our personal chef clients. Wow. So we use the web extensively. You use the web extensively, but there's all your, your personal contacts as well right. that you that mine too. in order to you mm -hmm. know, get, to, get to you. And yes. I would imagine a lot of personal chefs that are getting started or have no clue what they're doing, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're the go-to gal. Yes, it is. You start and you're struggling a little and you're kind of like, I don't need help, I could do it on my own. And it comes to a point where you want it bad enough that you don't want to go back to a restaurant, you don't want to go back to an office, that you say, you raise your hand and say, I need help, I want someone to teach me how to do it. Stephanie, do you have a hard time, or do you find sometimes that, you know, the personal chef, right, because they're so creative and into their craft, right, mm -hmm. that they're so into that that perhaps they may have some apprehension in learning a little bit of the stuff that you teach, you know, the very business basics and everything else. Oh, no, I don't right. Know. I'm not. I'm busy right now. I got a catering uh, you know, thing for the weekend, and they just put it off and off and off. And off. Sure. So a lot of resistance I get as to why do I need a website? Mm. I get <laughs> clients by word of mouth, and I'm like, that's great, but as soon as somebody stops recommending you and you're relying on somebody else to give you money, your website brings you leads d directly to you, yeah. even when you're sleeping. So that is something I teach way in the beginning of the, you're big in the course. Way. Yeah. You're huge, you're huge on the Because I get 98% of my money from there. So I want to teach them how to do it too. People contact me from other countries and say, I'm coming to Scottsdale, I need a chef. Can you do it? No one's going to get that by word of mouth. Let me get this. You've got a website. You've got a gorgeous website. Thank uh, you. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> I, fact, so. that, no, I saw it. It's okay. It looks, it looks great. Um, but the website by itself is not I mean, it's worthless unless the world knows about it. Right. How do you get people to know about the website? I guess that's where. Good I'm question, because that's a mystery to a lot of people. Right. And it is, to say a bigger word, search engine optimization, okay. where somebody's searching for Scottsdale personal chef, and if you need to come up one, two, or three, so we're coming up between one, two, and three for the past five years. So people don't even go down further. They're gonna be like, oh, who's this girl right here? And then we do social proof, which is they go check our Yelp reviews. And they see, okay, she has 15 five-star reviews. Then they keep going to the Facebook page. They have nice recipes. They have great pictures. Their chefs look good. They come to the website, and then they pick up the phone. So we take them around and around. 
Interesting. So how did you figure all this thing out? Somebody help you with <laughs> Trial and error. No. Trial <coughs> well, no, I, um, that's how it works, right? I mean, if I'm a coach, I want to preach, practice what I preach. So I have a business coach too. But um, doing this was a lot of experience and just learning it, investing my own money and my own time in it, and just kind of getting whatever I need to succeed. It could come in a million forms. He, here's where, where I see your incredible value, not, not just in the personal chef business, because I see what you're doing, but I mean, it, it could be personal chef, it could be, it could be anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be any business. Right. But you're taken to, through this circuitous social media search engine, engine optimization uh, 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 track, if you will. Right. And at the end of the day, what you want is just pick up the phone and, and call. Right. And I think that you can achieve that in any industry. You can. The only, I mean, I chose this because, A, I'm passionate about it and it's what I know. But it, this can be applied to any entrepreneurial, creative-based business. Even a product-based business. But And you figured all this thing out on your own? Uh, you know, you have help from a lot of people. You put all the ingredients yeah, together. Yeah, exactly. It's like cooking. Your, what your, what, what's your best dish? What is my best dish? Um, what's your best dish that you didn't bring today? I know. So you, <laughs> I'll come right. back with it. I like to do what I call healthy comfort food. So anything that is, you is, is know and love that tastes really good, but it's not deep fried or, you know, crazy bad for you that you could still love. Like so, what? I mean, if it is not deep fried, I mean, ain't good. I love a butternut squash <laughs> lasagna. Like something where you love that. Ta ta yeah. Taylor is just an amazing cook. Oh, you are? Oh, she is. Okay. You can have that. You can come work for you're, me. You're no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You have a good job here. Um, so she'll yeah, give you, something She'll like give you five that. minutes that, that she has available between Monday and Sunday. because she Okay. Has, oh, believe me. Okay. Yeah, so anything healthy that... People just want to eat good food. Yeah. Even athletes, celebrities, all they want is good we food. All, we all want to eat good food, it, but you know, it's, it's it's a time constraint sometimes, right? I mean, because we're we're like, my goodness, I, right. yes, I understand it, but I don't have the time to cook. I don't have the time to do right. this. Da, 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 da. How do we how do we overcome that? So there's two ways. You either pay someone to give you back your time, which is kind of what we're doing to solve that problem sure. or you switch up your priorities and you make food preparing, food shopping and engaging in that home type things more important than going out and doing other things. Changing priorities. That, Basically. I mean, that, it, really, it really boils down to that. When you change your priority, it really... Right. You put food and yourself here at the top of, uh, of the list, mm -hmm. then you're going to get it done. Like it's all I about priorities, isn't it? Clients that are sick, like with cancer, who call and they're like, obviously devastated, but yeah. then their priorities totally shift. And eating well is the most important thing, and price is not a factor, and their whole lives change because then they start cooking at home and we're helping them. So it's interesting. How, when you, how did you get into this whole cooking thing? How did I get into it? <laughs> um, I went to Scottsdale Culinary Institute, which yep. is down the block, yep. and I... I didn't come from a cooking family, honestly. I did not have a mom that like but what, what, slaved away. But what was happening there? I mean, all right, cooking here's, is gonna be Here's here. two reasons, three reasons. Number one, I wanted to be creative with my hands. Right. Number two, I wanted a business where I can make as much money as I want. Nobody tells me how much I can make. And number three, I wanted it to be portable, which means I can move across the world and still do this. Taking your skill with you. Right, you and my, yeah, even my website, everything. Sure. Everything can come. Sure. Those were the three things I was thinking of. Portable business. Mm. And being creative with your hands. So, And it's fun, too. It it's, is fun. I mean, cooking yeah. is a lot of fun. It I mean, is fun. I, I can't cook for anything. But, <laughs> but I, you you know, I've got, I got my, you know, my signature omelet dish that <laughs> I wouldn't impress anybody. I mean, that, that's, that's, right. what, that's my go-to dish. What do you put in it? Your omelet. <sighs> I put everything that is going bad in the refrigerator. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> So I a just kind of yeah. yeah a fridge omelet. So I just kind of chop just it up a little up. bit yeah. and it goes in there. That's the best. So it it winds up being a, a collage of, of many things. Right. At least but you're doing it. At least I'm doing That's it, the best man. Part. But it's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. You are a business coach for chefs. Yes. What's your website again? It is StephanieHeller.com. StephanieHeller.com, and it's it's really a pleasure. A little bit disappointed, in fact, it didn't. I'm coming back. I promise you'll see me here again. <laughs> I'm coming back. I'm coming. No, I pulled off, and I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" I forgot. 
Yes, I was like so running around <laughs> and that's what, it's your expectation like, well, and I want to come through. <laughs> so I'll be back, I'll I'm be back. Like, I'm like telling everybody, yo, we're going to have yeah, food today. We're going to be know. eating all I'm this sorry. bread and healthy food. <laughs> Stephanie Heller's in the house. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. I'll make it up. Just give you a hard time. All right, man. I'll make it up to you. Thank you so much. This was fun. <laughs> You're terrific. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. With that, we're out.